If you are familiar with the concept of webhooks, you get to know that with Superbase, you can also create some webhooks. Webhooks are a way for two APIs to connect together and to exchange some data to communicate every time there is an event. And of course, inside of Superbase, you can do the same. Inside of my Superbase project, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on database. Then I'm going to click here on webhooks. Okay. And then what I have here is database webhooks. Database webhooks can be used to trigger serverless function or send requests to an HTTP endpoint. So I'm going to click on enable webhooks and then I can click on create webhook. But before we create a webhook, I would like to create an endpoint with an API. So what I did here is I created a Next.js 13 application. Okay. And I got an API endpoint here on my route. And what it does is just have two endpoints, a get endpoint where I got data in return and data up here will have the data uh, sent by my webhook. Okay. This is just an example. And this is just to show you how you can work with an API. Then here down there, I got a post endpoint. And when I post here, I'm updating the data up here. So what I got here as a response is a status 200 data and a message down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy this application on Vercel and I'm going to check if it is working. All right, I'm on Vercel. I deployed this application that I got here. It's totally dumb. There's nothing on it right now. But here up here, I got an endpoint. I'm going to type slash API. And look at this, here we are right now, I got just an email with a record here. So what we would like to do is to post on this endpoint from my webhook. So I'm going to get back up here, I'm going to click on create a webhook. And here I'm going to say, for instance, uh, it's going to be new user, let's say new user webhook this way, here we are. So I'm going to click on here. And what I'm going to do actually, I can just pause and go to the uh, table public users, for instance, or I can go on my auth users up here. So let's say I'm going to go on auth users. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that on the events insert down here, I want to do an HTTP request. So of course you can do update, you can do delete, etc., etc. Down here, we see that I can also call a super base edge function, but there are a lot of other examples online uh, to, to watch if you want to create a super base edge function. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on method post and here I'm going to put my endpoint. Okay. I got the content type application JSON. Here we are. Okay. So actually it's not going to be a new user webhook. It's going to be, let's say last, uh, user subscribe. Uh, that's what I want to catch. Okay. I want to catch the last user that subscribe on this webhook. Okay. So here I can go down. I got my HTTP request. I'm going to post and I'm going to click on create webhook. And here we are. So right now I got this webhook that is running and on insert to a new user. So I can click here on edit hook on insert on the table hoth users. It's supposed to update here the data that we will get. And remember on my endpoint, I'm going to save the uh, data in here, in this data. I'm going to go on authentication. I'm going to add a new user to my table and let's say it's going to be Aurelia at yopmail.com, whatever. I'm going to click on invite user and here we go. So now let's check if my uh, application on Vercel has been called. Click on API and look at this. Here we are. I got the whole data coming from actually the user. So here it's really bad to do that. Okay. Because here it's public. You should never record something like this. I should only record the email for instance. So I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to fix this right away. Right. I did an update up here when I'm going to get my endpoint. I just want to have the data dot record dot email. Okay. So here you got the schema. It was coming from the full set of data that we had before. We don't want to deliver all the data here. All right, it's deployed. Now I'm going to add a new user, Aurelia12 at yopmail.com. I'm going to click on invite user. And here we've got Aurelia in the list. Now I'm getting back here. I'm going to update my endpoint. And here we are. We've got our last user, Aurelia. 
on my application on Vercel up here, okay? So up here, we see that I got my latest user. As we saw, we can create webhooks to trigger some operation, to trigger some calls when we insert, update, or delete any table. And this is really useful because down here, we can see that we can send HTTP request or we can call superbase edge function with different method and we can give parameters to it. So webhooks are a feature that I like a lot, that I use a lot personally because I send data to a lot of other endpoints. You can imagine a lot of stuff with that. That's really useful.